I didn't have a clue what network marketing was when I first became involved. I owned a training franchise that I'd purchased for 25,000. Suddenly, they announced that it was now a $500 network marketing opportunity. In the meeting where they described the opportunity, I was the first to jump to my feet and say, I'm in. The main reason being that they forgave $7,000 of that loan I still owed to them. So whatever network marketing was, I was in. But the next step is what made me successful. I read every book I could get my hand on to understand it. I became a student of the profession. And that's what really made me bulletproof when it came to believing that not only could I do it, I could be successful. Hi, I'm Lorna Rasmussen, and this channel is devoted to helping you build a profitable business so you can live the life of your dreams, whatever that dream may be. For me, it's living here in Costa Rica. Thank you for all of you who subscribe to the channel. It makes us feel good, yes, but it also makes it possible for us to bring you all this valuable content. So educating yourself is the first step to overcoming your fear of failure. I'll illustrate that with a story of a woman we'll call Mary. Mary was a dynamo who had been very successful when she owned three franchise operations, but she'd had to sell the franchises because she was moving to a different city. Eventually she joined me in network marketing and through her work ethic and intelligence, she'd realized a modicum of success. But one day in a training done by an outside trainer, she came to realize that she hadn't bought into the concept of network marketing 100%. There was this germ of doubt about the profession of network marketing, and she realized that that doubt was causing her to pull back and not realize the success she knew she was capable of. So not one to do things in half measures. Mary enrolled in a course at the University of Illinois at Chicago run by Dr. Charles King, a Harvard educated PhD and professor of marketing at the university. And thus Mary became a certified expert in network marketing. And as a result, she went on to have tremendous success. So knowledge is one way of dealing with your fear of failure. Another is to recognize that you're entering a new career. And while it's a relatively easy business to do, there are areas that we bring from our past and our current knowledge, some of which are helpful and others we need to learn. In other words, we need to give ourselves the time and patience to learn new skills. And we need to recognize that there's nothing wrong with needing that time. Finally, there's a concept when dealing with fear called pushing through the fear. In an excellent book called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, Susan Jeffers says, pushing through fear is less frightening than living with an underlying fear that comes from a feeling of helplessness. I read this book when I was experiencing extreme levels of fear in my life. My fear of failing in my new profession of network marketing was coupled with an intense fear that I would go bankrupt and lose everything. And added to that was doubt in my own abilities. I had no confidence in myself. At the time, I didn't understand how all these fears came literally from the same place, a lack of trust in myself. When I pushed myself beyond what I felt I was capable of doing, I started to experience small wins and I began trusting myself in small ways. That made it possible for me to take more risks, take on bigger challenges and grow into the person I became. The lesson here, by pushing through our fears, we will make mistakes. Making mistakes is in fact, the only way we'll ever learn or grow. So pushing through your fears enables you to grow and learn and finally trust yourself. So in the end, read and educate yourself. I'll put a list of recommended books below. Understand you have things you must learn and mistakes you must make. Finally, give yourself the time and the grace to learn and incorporate that learning. And stay tuned to this channel to help you with more. I'll see you on the next video.